Say Eddie from Scranton MMA. Uh, we're gonna show a great takedown you can use in judo or jiu-jitsu. Uh, once again, this takedown is gonna go right off of a grip, all right? It's one of the best times to attack, whether it's the beginning of the match or later in the match. It's always a great time to attack before someone settles in or before someone's able to start launching uh, their attacks at you. You just have to have a plan for every grip. Sometimes it works well, it almost tricks them on to where you want them to grip and go right to your move. Uh, for this technique, I'm gonna do it off of a lapel grip. So I'm gonna kinda trick my partner into making sure they grab my lapel. I'm not gonna have my arms out there dangling. I'm gonna kinda stay back, make him grab the lapel and go right to a nice big takedown. Hope you guys like it. break that down a little bit. Uh, first, for this technique, uh, Sensei Eddie's right foot is forward and his right hand is forward. It's very common for righties to stand that way. If it's a lefty, you just switch this technique, doesn't matter. Uh, so right foot forward, uh, and I want him to grab my lapel. So again, my arms are kind of open, presenting this. Look, I don't want him to grab all the way around my head, over my back, so I'm up and my hands are still defending that and I'm presenting this as a nice target. Uh, if the gi's all nice and tightly uh, worn, just put it right, so his, his jacket's nice and, and, and tied up here, I'm gonna come across and just open it up and feed my hand over the top, all right? Now listen, since he is inside, I definitely have to go quick at this point, and I don't want his other hand on me, all right? I don't want this situation, all right? That's not a, a good spot to be in. So I open the jacket, pull this hand back. For this technique, I'm gonna take my elbow and drive his elbow down and give like half a step this way. If my partner moves, great. If he doesn't, it, it really doesn't matter. I'm still gonna be ahead of the game. I close this and then open it, pull this up and out. I wanna make this space right here, all right? Back foot moves first on this technique. My back foot comes in and my right arm comes up. Now my right foot comes up, lean forward, just like that. Gonna need a few different angles to see everything going on, uh, so just pay attention here. I'm gonna show a different angle. See how the key's open now? We're moving around with grappling. It actually becomes a little easier. So as soon as he grips, I can come right over the top and get this. But you have to see that, you have to be ready for it. Again, I drive my elbow down, I drop my weight, and I get a little bit of a step with my lead leg this way. That basically is opening up this angle of attack right here. All right, I'm gonna pull and open this up and my back leg steps in. All right, open this up. My right hand, it's easier to think just make a fist. All right, I'm gonna make a fist and pinch and trap his arm. I want my shoulder above the arm. That locks it to my body so when I move, his whole body moves. It gives me a lot of leverage, all right? I can manipulate his body away from his core where he's not, not strong, all right? So this is what I want. I want his arm glued to me right here, all right? Very simple finish from here. My right leg comes up, my head comes down, and then I rotate my body, all right? So I'm showing that drawing. He grips, I grip. Drive, open. So for here, the finish I like is my knees driving down, try to catch this arm if you can, all right, I'm going to have the lapel, I'll come to the hands, but I want my knees applying pressure. Again, I don't want my partner to start spinning into me, turning into me. So this downward pressure helps a lot. Uh, from here, even if he does turn in, I'll go north-south. If he turns all the way in, you can try to trap the forearm. If he doesn't, I like to come right to the neck right to the arm, and get to work, all right? So again, for this technique, just remember that it's right off the grip, and get a feel of this closing and opening. Close and open. It's gonna make an angle, and it's gonna let you isolate that arm to get a good attack in, all right? Hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions, just give us a shout. Thanks a lot.